This one may not seem so quote unquote mystical, but it is these types of writings that often give you the keys to access a higher level or a higher consciousness, a higher understanding of the Torah and the world and yourself. It is a well-known fact that self-effacement is one of the finest positive virtues as our sages have taught us. The universe endures only due to the people who perceive themselves as if they were of no consequence. This is what is meant by, and he who perceives himself as beneath everybody else is what results in the world being planted successfully. Examples of how the righteous downgraded their own selves are found in Genesis 18.27, when Avraham described himself as dust and ashes. Moses and Aaron, when challenged by the people in Exodus 16.8, exclaimed, Who are we? They meant that since they themselves derived all their spiritual input only from God, why would the people complain against them? We find that in Psalms 22, 7, David describes himself as a worm, not a man. Furthermore, we have a tradition that the presence of God manifests itself only to the humble, the self-effacing. Compare Mechelta on Exodus 12, item 9. This is also what is meant in Isaiah 57, 15. I dwell on high in holiness, yet with the contrite and lowly in spirit, reviving the spirits of the lowly. Similarly, Torah knowledge becomes the permanent property only of the lowly in spirit. Our sages in Tanit 7 ask, Why is the Torah compared to water so that the prophet Isaiah 50 in 55.1 when inviting people to learn to learn Torah, called out, Come all you who are thirsty for water, and get water. Just as waters leave the elevated place they originate, uh, they originate in and flow downwards, so the Torah cannot be at home for long in someone whose heart feels proud and superior to others. In the Agadah of Eruvin 55, we also have a statement that the words of Moses in Deuteronomy 30, 12, um, that the Torah is not found in heaven, refers to arrogant people, and that Torah does not make its home in the brain of such people. People who raise their own importance as if it reached heaven are not liable to retain their Torah knowledge. True Torah knowledge is attained by those who kill themselves, in quote, which means to kill their ego in order to attain it. So in order to attain higher Torah knowledge and a higher consciousness, one must kill their ego and understand that they're nothing but dust. <laughs>